All right, well, what's up, y'all? Uh, I hit y'all with another video kind of quick, you know, I'm getting more consistent. And, all right, let's get straight to it, though. I hope y'all doing good. I hope y'all having a, a blessed, amazing day, you know, or had one. You know what I mean? This night, something. All right, let's get past that. But today I want to talk about being by yourself, or should I say isolation. So, me... I'm gonna start off with talking about me first. I used to struggle being alone. Like, I used to hate being alone. When I was younger, probably like my middle school years, I used to always want friends. I used to always want to be next to people. And I had a little small friend group, all right? I switched schools, blah, blah, blah. I had a small friend group. And I, in this small friend group, not gonna lie, it was kind of toxic. And I didn't want to be in it, but I was just so scared of actually like being alone, being by myself. I was scared of not having plans to do with anybody, not going to the movies with people, not hanging out, playing basketball. I was really scared. But when I started in high school, I started trying out being alone. Like I wasn't, I didn't cut off my friends as soon as possible. It was some days when I could like call people up and hang out with them, but I was like, let's let's try something different. I started doing stuff by myself and it just gave me this whole sense of this whole like that's presence of peace. Peace and isolation and just the quiet. The quiet noise is just so beautiful to me. And the quiet is just so beautiful to me, not noise, but it just really amazed me how like so long I was so scared of being alone, so scared of doing my own thing that I just always hid from it and I always pushed it back. I always suffered instead of actually doing my own thing. And the more you start to realize that when you start doing stuff by yourself, people is gonna look at you different. They gonna look at you more weird. So just like, I think Kanye said this, but basically he was like, if one person is just jogging like uh, like 100 miles, do y'all call him weird? But if like 100 people join him, y'all call him a marathon. Like that quote right there speaks a lot to me because it really talks about how like so many times we can be like overlooked or we can be looked at differently because we're doing stuff by ourselves, And it's hard. I know it's hard to be by ourselves. I know it's hard to for people to look at you different. And I know it's hard to think that like people don't agree with you or they just look at you weird. But it's some things we have to do. Sometimes God has a plan for us and we just don't know what it is. Like in jail. I got this, I got this Bible verse. For I know the plans I have for you, declare the Lord. Plans for welfare and not evil, not for evil to give you future and the hope. And that really just talks about like how we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know the plans he has, but we know he has a plan. We know everything is in God's hands. So we know we'll be all right. If it's something telling you that you have to be alone, make sure it's from God first. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, hey, that's from God. Sometimes it's from the devil. They try to trick you, try to make you be alone, make you suffer by yourself, stuff like that. But if God is telling you to isolate yourself sometimes, or he's telling you to like find a new environment, don't be scared. I know it's scary. I know it's hard, easier to say than that. If you feel like me, how I used to feel, but don't be scared. Do not feel scared. S stay strong, keep courage, and understand that it's only in your best interest. Most of the time when you focus only on you and God, that's when you start, that's when your plans start to prosper so beautiful. That's when the plants start to grow way better than they ever did. And I just really hope you understand that. And it's not selfish. There's a difference. Me and I got a friend group. I don't know if y'all friend group like that, but me and my three boys, we won't, we won't even talk to each other for like two weeks, but we know we are doing our own thing. We'll be like, hey bro, let's try and get on game one day all have back on like nothing happened. All we sent TikTok sharing each other, motivating each other. We know 
that we have to do our own thing. And that's our best way we can live life. That's the best way we can grow by doing our own thing. So if you have to go, if you have to ghost, like I wouldn't say ghost, but if you have to enter isolation for a little bit of time, do what you have to do. Do what God is telling you to do. Do not be scared. Do not be scared. Because he knows the plans that he has for you. And I feel like that's what happened to me. I was real scared of the plants. I was real scared. And I didn't think that he had a plan for me. I just thought that I was just going to be by myself forever. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my high school years. And I am blessed with so many friends. So I have like... I walk the hallways. I have so many people I can actually say what's up to, talk to. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't. And I'm so many friends with people I used to damn like. That's what another thing. Like... I used to not like these dudes back in middle school, and I don't think I have any enemies right now on that Thorfinn type stuff. But hey, you get that, you get that. But yeah, I don't want to make this video long. I don't want to start yapping. But do you, if it's time for isolation, isolation season, do it and go into it 100%. Don't look back. Don't be scared. Don't be fearful. Be courageous, be strong. And another Bible verse before we end this off. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leads me, he led, leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. God only has the best for you. He only has the greatest plans for you to prosper. And he never will have anything else. The only thing else that the only thing that could change that or would not be for that is the devil. So get away from that boy. Come back to Jesus. Do what you gotta do. And uh peace and love, y'all. I hope that I hope y'all relate to that. Hope y'all receive that if y'all need to hear that. And uh, y'all have a blessed day, man. Peace.